Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Platinum. In the last part, I rambled my way through all the way to Spear Pillar, where Team Galactic is doing their evil deeds. And in this part, we're going to be confronting Cyrus, but first, we're going to run to Mars and Jupiter. Goody. Oh boy. Dusk? Hey, it actually showed up at a convenient time for once. Congratulations! So here we are, a double battle with Mars and Jupiter. They both lead off with their bronze ores, which is really annoying. Luckily, I remembered to switch out to Charlie before I actually went into this battle. Now, there's two strategies you can use for this battle. You can either focus on one trainer at a time, like just attack one of their bronzers and keep focusing on that one trainer, or another strategy is to KO your rival's Munchlax first because it really doesn't do anything other than stockpile and swallow. So really, it is beneficial to just KO the Munchlax, but most of the time, uh, Mars and Jupiter usually wind up doing that for you. So I just like to just uh, gang up on one trainer at a time. Now unfortunately, they both have their little screens, reflecting light screens, so if you let w one of them, yeah, if you let one of them live, then it's going to be pretty annoying having to deal with both screens, reflect and light screens, so, yeah. Body slam, yeah, like, that's going to do a whole lot, that was a crit and it only did a quarter. Ah, uh, let's see, Scum Tank, that's definitely Jupiter. Um, I'm gonna keep using Fire Blast because that's the strongest move Charlie has. See how much that does to- wow! That was pathetic damage. Yeah, hopefully, uh, Jupiter can KO Munchlax for me because the rest of his team is actually pretty useful. He uses his starter and, uh, Star Raptor, I think. Actually, he might use all six of his Pokémon now that I think about it. So you really have a good advantage in this battle if I'm remembering that right. <laughs> wow. I never realized how one-sided that was. You have 12 Pokémon against six. That's pathetically overpowered, wow. I never thought about that. Anyway, Jupiter is being really fucking annoying, and so is Dusk with his Munchlax. That's why you want to KO it by yourself, because Munchlax doesn't do shit. Right, anyway, I'm gonna keep using Stomp on Scum- Ooh, he's switching into his own Rapidash! Okay, that works! Because, uh, the AI- I've had this happen to me before, the AI can actually- detect whether or not you have flash fire for your ability, so if he's gonna do what I think he's gonna do, he's gonna use a fire type move on me so he can power up my attacks. That's actually pretty smart. Congratulations, Dusk. Your AI is actually pretty damn good in this battle. Congratulations. Ah, haha, that would have been epic. Oh, well, at least the idea would have worked. That was... Pretty damn impressive. So yeah, the real Dusk, if you're watching this, your AI is actually good. It wasn't just pure dumb luck like it was in our first battle. Yeah, there he goes sending out his Star Raptor, so he does use all six of his Pokémon. That's really overpowered. Okay, there he goes the Skun Tank. There's no way it's gonna live a takedown. Not from a Star Raptor. Star after may be the generic bird of Sinnoh, but it's easily the most powerful. And I forgot about that damn smoke screen. Oh well. At least Jupiter's last Pokemon is only a Golbat at this point, so we can focus on that. 
I'm just gonna use Fire Blast again. I probably should've went after the Bronzor. Oh well. I did about half. So ah! That damn smoke screen! Come on, Charlie. Okay, I'm just gonna Fire Blast the Bronzor now because he's probably gonna go, go after uh, Golden. Damn it, you missed! And I am really stumbling over my words today. Like I said in the last video, it's been over a month since I've recorded with commentary, so don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just really out of it. Yeah, there goes Charlie. Well, it doesn't matter too much because you get healed right after this battle, so you don't have to worry about using too many items. Um... Let's go out to Frieza, actually. Alright, because now we can hit them both with Blizzard. So, let's go and do that. That's eh, gonna take out the Golbat, isn't it? Oh well. That's Jupiter down, so now we can just gang up on Mars 2 versus 1 here. And that did way more than I thought it would. Fuck. I knew I should've used Shockwave. Man, he is doing a lot of damage to himself there. Oh, there goes his Star Raptor. Oh well, he's still got his Starter, which is like his main Pokémon, obviously, so... And we just KO'd Mars' uh, Golbat, so all she has left is her Perugly. Which, I don't think it can really touch Frieza unless it has Shadow Claw, so... I think we're good to go. And Frieza leveled up, that works out. So there's her Purugly, what's Dust gonna send up? Ah, Munchlax, really? You couldn't have sent out your starter and made it an epic finale or something? Whatever. Uh, oh, there goes Munchlax. You really need to evolve that thing, Dusk, because that thing just got 2 it KO'd, well, it would have been 2 it KO'd if it was at full health, by a fucking Purugly. That's kind of sad. You need to evolve that thing ASAP. Ooh, Heracross. That thing's gonna get just shredded. Yep, it does no Shadow Claw, so I don't know if Freeze is gonna... Nope, there it goes. I don't think that crit mattered. But Heracross just tore up her ugly a new asshole with that close combat, so that more than makes up for it. I don't care if I'm not getting experience for that, that was that was pretty cool. Oh shut up, Mars. You too, Jupiter. Yeah, they actually are pretty tough. Too bad you're never that good in battle when I battle you. Well, at least not in this game. So yeah, your rival goes ahead and heals you up, which is very convenient for what's up ahead.
Holy crap! What just happened? Um... Explanation pulls? What was that black shadow thing? What did it do with Cyrus? Why are the pixies going into this portal thing? I don't know what's going on anymore! I'm kinda late, Cynthia! Everything already happened! Yeah, we gathered that much. Why was it to never be spoken? Especially if you just spoke it! Giratina, huh? The Pokémon on the box art for this game! Not like you can really say no, I mean, you can prepare, but... It's the story's climax, you should've already prepared. So yeah, welcome to the trippiest place in Pokemon history. The Distortion World. Time isn't flowing, space isn't stable, nothing lives here. This is a completely different dimension, the Distortion World. Yeah. And you'll see what she means when she says space isn't stable. Other than the floating platforms you can see to your right. So yeah, we've gotta hurry the fuck up before this spreads to the rest of the planet. Um, what is the point of this over here? Yeah, um, you don't have to worry about repels or anything, no wild Pokemon live here. This is just Giratina's world by itself. Yeah, if you step in the indentation right in front of me here, this platform will move. Happens like that for a lot of other platforms in this area, and yeah, just look at all those platforms. Are we we're really traveling downward? I don't know. That's the thing about the Distortion World, you don't know anything for sure about this place. And you'll see why soon enough. This place gets really fucking trippy. Like you think it- There's Mesprits! Trying to show you what you have to do because you normally wouldn't think about it. But... Yeah, we're walking on the fucking wall! How trippy is that? And there's Cynthia standing on the wall, what the hell? Oh man. I definitely like this better than the old uh, climax from Diamond and Pearl where it's just Spear Pillar. This is definitely better. Now this place is a little bit of a maze, so... Yeah, this can get pretty annoying if you don't know your way around. Or remember anything, like I don't. So, I'm probably going to be wandering around here aimlessly for a while. Um, okay, I think... Am I even going the right way? No, I'm not, son of a bitch. Yeah. I think we just need to go forward now that I think about it. Let's see here. Yep. So there's Cynthia just hanging there, just standing on the wall. Just having a casual conversation, standing on the wall. No gravity defiance here. Because I don't think anything was ever meant to be here. I mean, does it look like something that would welcome things living here? 
other than something that was like banished here or something? That looks pretty fucking, uh, I don't know, well, Torn. I guess to make a reference to its Japanese name, the Torn World. Uh, let's go down here, or whatever. That's the thing about the Distortion World, you have no idea where the fuck you're going until you see it, the platforms moving. Because this is pretty ridiculous. I don't know my way around this place whatsoever. So, like I said, I'm going to be wandering around for quite a bit in this area. Once we get to a certain point, I will be able to pretty much figure out what I need to do. But for right now, I really have no idea what I'm doing. Let's see here. Um, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I should probably have a guide open for this, but I'm too lazy to reconnect my internet, especially with some of the things that have been going on with my laptop lately. Invisible advertisements coming from nowhere, I don't know what's going on, so I'm just having it disconnected from the internet while I record at the moment. Am I even going the right way? I don't even know. Uh, let's go this way and that way and not that way or this way I don't know okay we're going down that's usually a good thing if you're going down in this area that's usually a good thing okay I think we got it Gee, we're being think okay we're going down very far down now here's where things get tricky. You have platforms that magically disappear and reappear in Hello Cyrus. Who knows? Yeah. Learned all about it in modern biology in my sophomore year. I like how you're explaining this to me, even though I said I already understood it. Not really. Possibly. But here's the thing though, if this world disappears, then so is the world you want to change, which I know that's your original idea, but there won't be any worlds left to exist for you to make a new world. In other words, you're gonna wind up dying before you can change anything. Just a little hole in your plan there that I wanted to point out. You're not going to be alive in order for you to execute your plan. And the Distortion World has a pretty good way of trolling the fuck out of you like that. But we are pretty much in the main hub of the... or not. I thought I was in a different area. I guess that's not till a little bit later. This is gonna be a long video. I hope I can end this off pretty soon, actually. Yep, there's some more reappearing and disappearing platforms. And we probably... Yep, we need to go that way. Okay, now we're in the main hub of the Distortion World, as we will see going down here. At least I think so.
Maybe? Let's see. This place is just so... weird. There's... Okay, this is the main hub. Yuxi, along with the other three pixies, are going to float above these boulders here. And you need to push boulders down these holes in order to continue on. They're trying to test you to see if you're ready for this, which... I don't get how pushing boulders into holes is a real test for this kind of thing. But, whatever. Um, I think this is actually a pretty good point to stop the episode because this is going to be a really long... Uh, test, because you just have to travel all around the distortion world, so next time on Pokemon Platinum, we'll be doing the Pixies test. See you guys then.